I'm in the middle of one of the craziest and most unique Pokemon challenges I've ever been a part of. Where are you at? I think you're running out of time. Quiet, so quiet, there, quiet. Wasn't. And if I win... For all of your trouble today, my dude. I win. Big. What? Let me catch you up. I'm at an event called SD Rocket Con, meeting fans and signing autographs with Sean, AKA Pokevault. And after we finished, he gave me a Pokemon mystery box, which was super cool until he took it back and said this. You gotta earn it. And it was right then that he revealed the glorious contents of what was inside this box. What is that? Oh my gosh. Dude. This bag alone is getting me super pumped right now. I want the bag so bad. But it's what's inside that I'm really excited about. Can I see what's inside? Absolutely not. But unfortunately, the only way to get them is to win them. One of the four pillars of the Pokemon TCG is trading. You need to capture six cards from me here today if you want to get this entire bag. And I'm going to be giving you prizes along the way. And here's the thing. Everything that's inside will be given away on a live stream to subscribers of the channel. I just hope I can get them all. Challenge number one. I got my first envelope and 30 minutes on the clock, starting in three, two, one. Any Mil Tank. Yes, any Mil Tank, go. Mil Tank, this is perfect. This Pokemon started out as a joke on the channel, but then randomly became a fan favorite. Do you like Mil Tank? I like Mil Tank. Do you like Mil Tank? I like Mil Tank. And this shouldn't be too difficult since a lot of recent sets like Crown Zenith and V-Star Universe have a Mil Tank card. If he can't complete a Mil Tank for the very first challenge, he has no shot at this whatsoever. Zero shot. My trade binder in hand, all of a sudden, I remember a kid who I met earlier who showed me a mill tank knowing I'd be here at the show. There he is. Is it true to gallery? Yeah, yeah. Like, yes, I do. So we got Quentin here. Mill tank, let's mil go. Tank. This is a trade only challenge. So I give Quentin my binder to see what he might want to trade for it. He points out a Lilligant V, which is a little more expensive than the mill tank, but you know what? He's awesome and saved me a lot of time. So let's do the trade. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We got a mill tank, let's go. That was let's way go. too easy, way too easy. Do you like mill tank? I like mill tank. Do you like mill tank? I like mill tank. Boom! Now that you completed your first task, you don't even get to get inside the zipper yet. What? And that's when he revealed... Oh, no <laughs> shot. <laughs> Yo, I look fly, bro. So. All right, enough Sean Anigans. We gotta get inside this bag. It's time for challenge number two. Challenge number two. Number two, okay. Pikachu okay. promo. Okay, any Pikachu promo. Any Pikachu promo. Let's go. Let's go, 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 go. Pikachu promo. I'm scrambling, the clock is ticking, so I just start asking out loud. Pikachu promos, anybody have Pikachu promo? I have some, I have some. You have Pikachu promo? Yeah, I do, I do. This is why I love events like this. Everyone just wants to help out. Right there. And there it is, a Black Star Pikachu VMAX promo. Exactly what we need right now. Oh. You're good to trade for it? You can have it, man. No way. That's so generous. I actually almost made a trade with this kid earlier before the challenge, and now he's hooking us up. Anything for the channel. Yo, this kid is the goat. Thank you, Karen. I appreciate you. We got our Pikachu promo. I hope this challenge gets a little harder because this is too easy, folks. You found the one kid wearing the Pikachu sweatshirt with the Pikachu promo. That's unbelievable. Boom. Pikachu promo. That was way too easy. And just like that, we unlocked prize number two. Open the bag. <laughs> What is that? What is this? For completing challenge number two, you receive a Three Ninjas DVD from 2002. <laughs> Are you kidding? Even Brad's having a laugh right now. A Three Ninjas DVD? I'm absolutely getting trolled by Sean in this video. That's not Pokemon related. But it is vintage. It is, oh, bro. The laughs never stop. <laughs> Right, enough of this Sean foolery. It's time for round three. Just so you know, the challenges will get harder and harder. Shiny Full Art Hidden Fates. Hidden Fates is one of my favorite sets. And in the Shiny Vault subset, which is 94 cards, 35 of them are Full Art Shinies. Most notable being SV49, the Shiny Charizard. Any bonus points for SV49? You win the challenge with an SV49 right now. Never happened. Uh... I hit up a new vendor table, and man, it's super crowded over here. I grab a binder and start flipping through. Meanwhile, Brad's handing out penny sleeves at our table? Don't tell Pat. <laughs> Back on the floor, I keep looking, but I haven't found anything yet. Shiny full art from Hidden Fates. Shiny full art from Hidden Fates. I grab another binder, and it's the same vault binder as mine. I better not get these mixed up. I gotta make sure I get the right one. At least they're practicing good binder behavior. I find a gigantic version of the Pikachu we picked up earlier, and then Sean tries to get in my head. But I told you they'd be getting way more difficult. Okay, no, I just gotta find the Hidden Fates binder or a full art binder. Where are you at? I think you're running out of time. Quiet, lock, quiet, there quiet. Any... There's a reason it's called Hidden Fates. Then, all of a sudden, I see it. Yo, we're gonna go there. Oh, no! We're gonna go there. That is such a beautiful card. The full art shiny ho-oh. Can't make a wife out of a ho-oh. And now I wait. And I wait. 
patient. Don't want to rush people. Yeah. Meanwhile, Brad's signing autographs? Brad's a YouTuber? Sign me a card, Brad. Well, he is kind of famous now. All right, it's my turn at the table. Let's take a look. While he's looking through, I notice exactly how many people are trading and buying. I'm having such a blast. He pulls out a Sableye from Expedition, which is worth a lot more than the Ho-Oh, but it's also kind of damaged. So I think about it for a sec and... Let's do it. It's a deal. Sean's starting to sweat a bit. Yo, I got the ho-oh. He's really nice. For completing challenge number three, we go back to the back. Guess who Pikachu? Oh. Okay, a game. A guess who Pikachu from the year 2018. No shot. <laughs> it better work. Okay, it works. The kitty prize is a rover cat. It's time to get serious. Challenge number four. It's about to get difficult. Full art tag team, Sun and Moon. Oh. This is a good one. Okay, I know where to go. Yo, what's up, Terry? Hey, good to see you again, man. Good to see you. I need... Terry helped me out in a couple other set completion videos in the past, and if anyone can help me find something specific, Terry can. We look through his mountain of binders, and we find Diddly Squad. Terry pulls out some singles to look at. Come on, Terry, you've always been there for I me. Know. And to make matters worse, we just crossed the halfway point of this challenge. We may have found the first challenge that Pat will not be able to complete. Stand by. We look through all the singles, and we got nothing. And just in case, I look through the graded cards Terry has for sale. There are no rules about picking up a graded card. There might be, oh. so here's one. Yo, we got one, and Terry found a couple more. Yo, so that's three stacks of high society right there. <laughs> graded cards are gonna go for a little more. Now the question is, which one? Umbreon Darkrai, Celebi Venusaur, or Mew Mewtwo. I think I'm picking the Celebi Venusaur. And now it's time to trade. After a few flips and a nice comment about the glasses. Those are cool, those are cool glasses. I'd be interested in this guy. He points out a Japanese Scyther, which is actually coming from a red-green gift set, and it's actually worth about 20 20 to $30 more than the graded tag team. So he throws in something else for the difference. How about a Charizard? Yo, Grand Prix Charizard, let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. It's a deal. I'm Thanks, man. For it. Dude, I appreciate Thank you. you. Let's go. <laughs> Boom, in a PSA 10. And then we also got this thrown in too, the Grand Prix Charizard, so. Thank you, Terry. Number one, you're getting bonus cards now and completing missions. That's okay, because we have an amazing community. So we'll allow it. Getting oh. in Yo, Sean pulled out a sealed Hidden Fates tin. This is an epic prize. I've had such good luck with these. So we'll save this for the stream. Dude, that's awesome, Sean. Thanks, man. Two thumbs up from Sean. Actually, that's more like two thumbs side. How in the world? That's crazy. All right, Pat, it's been easy up until this point. This is the level before the boss challenge. Challenge number five. We got Evolution Alt. Use all previous as bait. You have to now navigate the room and find someone that will trade you for everything you see here. No binder, one for one, for the best condition Evolution Alt art you can find, including the DVD. <laughs> wait, wait, are you serious? Okay, this one is insane. Only this can get you to the last challenge. Okay, this <laughs> is getting real now. Can I even get an alt art Evolution Evolution for all of this? And the Three Ninjas DVD? Are they gonna think this is some kind of joke? Well, we're about to find out. But first, we gotta find an Evolution. And after this challenge, we still have the final boss challenge. I don't even know if I have enough time to complete everything. I start at this corner table and nothing there. I check out another vendor and just ask. Sorry to interrupt. Do you guys have any alt art evolutions? We got Umbreon. After looking at their display and a quick look through their binder, the answer was once again, no. I'm having zero luck at the vendor tables on this one. So I turn around and head toward the mob of people in the middle where tons of trades were going down. Maybe I could do some trading instead of going to the vendors. I'm a little nervous, but here we go. What's up guys? How's it going? Did you see that? My man just put his glasses on. I mean, who does that? We're indoors. Yeah, never mind. I can't say anything about that. But anyway, here's what I can say. I am looking for alt art evolution. Oh, that's why he put his glasses on. This guy has the goods. And wouldn't you know, he's got two evolutions that he might trade for. An alt art Umbreon V and an alt art Leafeon VMAX from Evolving Skies. I'm checking the conditions on each. Oh, the condition on these are great. I'm really interested in this Umbreon. V. But the question is, will he like what I have for him? Now, here's the big question. I only have what I have in my hands to trade for him. <laughs> He's smiling, but I'm not sure if that's a good thing. So I have a very beautiful ho -Oh, a mill tank, with his, which is like a million dollars. Got it. Pikachu VMAX. And then I have these two slabs here. And then a three ninjas DVD. And I have to unload all of this. All of this. I probably shouldn't have said that. Unload all this. That makes it seem like this is all trash. But honestly, this is a pretty good deal on paper. But is it worth it to him? I see him start doing the not so sure shimmy. And now he's brushing his chin. And just when I think he's about to say no. The three ninjas is definitely catching my eye. I'll do this for all that. You're sure? Dude. No! 
<laughs> he said yes. No way. I want to make a shout out to Invasion Toys and the Invasion Toys TikTok. Invasion Toys. I was there a few months back when we did our Base It 2 challenge. So go ahead and check them out. Let's go. We did it. No way. Oh my gosh. It's such a beautiful bird. It's yeah. perfect. It's Gem and Ten right there. Booyah! We got the Umbi. What did it? The DVD? It was the DVDs, man. I knew it. For completing challenge number five, you have unlocked one of the best gifts that's in this pack. Ooh! No way, dude. So this is for the channel. I got it. For the channel. Nice! We'll give that away on a stream. All right, Pat, you've reached the final level. It's in fact, the final boss. Whoa! The final bosses? Wait, there's two? Your fate is in your own hands. You have to choose. The outcome of this challenge rides on this decision right here. Uh, I'm gonna go for two. What, what was in here? A gold star? Oh my god. It's on that level. That would have been insane. But the question is, what's in the envelope that we chose? This is mine now. Here we go. Shiny from Neo. Oh my gosh. A shining from Neo? These cards are like from 2001. I've never owned one in my entire life. We're talking shining Charizard, shining Mewtwo, Celebi, Tyranitar, Magikarp, Gyarados, and more. What is happening right now? And quick check of the clock. We just got over seven minutes left. Immediately, I go back to one of the previous vendors. What are you looking for now? I'm looking for a shiny from Neo. Nah. Nada. Am I gonna lose to Vault again? I walk over to the vendor who traded me the Ho-Oh earlier and I flip through a binder and then I just ask. I'm looking for a shiny from Neo. Uh, no, no shiny. Oh, for two. Now we're at this table, dancing to cover up the anxiety. <laughs> I see my friends Ian with Ian. Do you have any shinies from Neo? No. No. He said no, oh, for three. Ah. Should I have picked up the other envelope which had a gold star promo and would the Umbreon from Celebrations have counted or even the Greninja promo? Then I see people trading for some big items on the center table. I mean like hundreds of dollars worth of stuff. So I don't want to be rude, but I literally just have a few minutes left. I, I don't have very many more chances after this. These guys are my last hope, or at least I thought they were, because right at that moment, just as if I was in some bad part of town, I heard a voice. I heard you're looking for shiny. I am looking for shiny from Neo. Got a Gyarados at the booth. You want to trek over? Was this for real? This guy sounds kind of shady. And what's the booth? Honestly, that doesn't even matter right now. This is my last chance. Yeah. Yeah, Let's go. go. He walks me out of the Pokemon room, which I have been in this whole time. <laughs> I haven't even been to this part of the expo oh, yeah. yet. He tells me that there's one Pokemon vendor that got put in here. For some reason, he didn't end up in that room. That's there's how... secret Pokemon in this room? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And when we arrive, I immediately recognize the guy behind the booth. Yeah. Justin! <laughs> Magikarp hat guy! I met Justin back when I attempted to complete Jungle, which I actually failed. But that was then, and this is now. There he is! He's got the Magikarp <laughs> With no time to waste, I go right in for the ask. This is the final boss in this challenge. I need a shiny from Neo. Right here, right here, right, right there. Here. No way, a shining Gyarados? And it's just within reach. Okay, there's my binder. I trust you. I shouldn't have told you how much I needed this card when I came here, but. I'm getting super nervous because is there anything even worth trading in my binder? And that's what just goes to the back of the booth for some other stuff too. Wait, other stuff? I'm confused now. What is other stuff? This is for my personal. Okay. Wait, what? Shining magic card with a shining silver. He has other shinings available? Now I have a choice? He hands me the Gyarados. All three of these will work, but I've never owned any of these before. I don't even know which one to pick. Oh my gosh. I don't know what they're saying. They might be talking crap about my collection. I don't know. Uh, okay, I have one in mind. I have one in mind that I would want. I'm gonna make you wait. I'm gonna make you wait now. Would you be willing to trade that one? Yeah, I want that one. You have one minute and 30 seconds to make it. Oh, really? Oh my gosh. Okay, we need to make this trade and make it fast. He tells me he's interested in alt arts and tag teams, but it's not looking like they're finding what they need to make this happen. Am I really gonna lose like this? I still don't even know how this guy found me. How did you know I needed the shining whispers of the wind whispers of the wind he says <laughs> terry called me i was like hey i'm sending deep pocket monsters over i was like why he's looking for stuff it's like okay terry terry yeah. calls you terry called me terry 30 seconds pat okay this needs to happen stat yeah throw in the x there yeah you. that's it we're done let's do it yeah let's do it yeah. Yeah. let's go 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We did it. I got a shiny from Neo. Now to take this back and reveal the vault, which one I chose to complete this challenge. And I can't help but think these challenges are never possible alone without the help of this amazing community and what has become a cast of characters and especially Terry. Terry, I heard you made a call, bro. I did. Dude, <laughs> thanks, man. I heard you were looking for it. Do, 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 do. I knew you would do it, bro. I knew you would. For all of your efforts today, Pat, not only do you get the bag. The bag, the let's bag. go. Oh. But you get the Pokeball. Wait, a Pokeball? What is this? For all of your trouble today, my dude, this is all yours. What? Shining Legends. Oh Shining my gosh. Shining Legends. Generations. Generations. Black and white base. Flash, Flash fire. fire. And base set two. Bro. These are all going to your community, man. Dude, Pokevault, thank you so much, man. Everybody go subscribe to Pokevault right now. And like you said, all these packs are gonna be given away to viewers of the channel on a future live stream. So make sure you subscribe so you get notified when it happens. Dude, that was so much fun. Thank you for that challenge. Check out Pokevault, go subscribe if you haven't already. Peace. Thank you so much, guys.